I think it's actually becoming more of a popular topic. Like people are uh, being more vocal about like uh, guys, you know, are being more vocal about like chasing the puss is not like conducive to yet. like a productive life. Like you know, achieving your dreams, like it's gonna, it's gonna get in the yep. way of it every time. You could spend a lifetime chasing girls, bro. You could literally spend a lifetime. Yeah, it's you like, can. You could, you could, yeah, you could spend a lifetime. It's never ending, bro. Like it's literally never ending. Like you could always meet a new girl and like just do that. But it's like, I only got a certain amount of time to like achieve like this dream of being like a UFC fighter. Like, I'll, like I want a time clock. You know, you can't do it when you're like fifty or sixty or whatever, or, like forties. Like you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, right now, the best thing is to max optimize, like this training, like, my youth and all that stuff, put it all into fighting. And if I meet someone along the way, hopefully I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying, like, I, I don't want to meet nobody, but, like, hopefully, you know, one day I, I will. Maybe I already met her. Who knows? You know, but, like, that, that that time will come. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But, like, yeah, like, it's definitely becoming a big topic. Like, guys, like, yeah, can't, can't, can't do that. You've bro. been hearing that too, right? They're like, dude, it's not even worth your oh, time yeah. to go out to the bar, like, every weekend and shit. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't even do that. I don't even like going out anyway so like it's pretty kind of easy for me to like stay away from that so i I, nice. I, I fucking hate going out. i hate going out. i'm always just training and, like, every time i do go out i'm always like i'm anxious bro, i'm like i gotta train the next day i gotta get sleep i gotta make sure i drink yeah, water dude. Just, all these things are on my mind like i have to drink enough water i gotta make sure i get sleep like all, all this stuff i think about if, if if i do i think the last time i went out was like in october I went to like a birthday party it was it was yeah but it's even it. hard because you're locked in i feel that yeah bro exactly yeah. you go out and you're just thinking about the fight the whole time and I'm just yeah, like, right. fuck, I should be doing something else. And it's like, it's hard to just enjoy my my life sometimes because I'm always thinking about, like, fighting. It's yeah. hard. But I need to find a way to, like, kind of balance that. But yeah. No, I feel I, I know what you mean, dude, because um, I don't really train anymore, but I was competing in jiu-jitsu for a while after high school. And uh, once I kind of stopped competing, that burden has kind of gone off in my mind a little bit. But, yeah, dude, it's hard, because mm -hmm. you're always thinking about fighting. You're always, like, comparing yourself to other men. It makes it a little yeah. hard sometimes. No, yeah, no, definitely. You always yeah. kind of feel that. I kind of like that, though. It keeps me on edge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I kind of continue, like, it keeps me going at the same time. Do you ever miss right. it? Do you ever, like, miss competing? Yeah, I do. I do. I yeah, think huh? once, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, once I start making some money off of this, which I'm I'm kind of close to, probably within like, the next few months or so, then I'm going to start yeah, training too. again. Yeah. But I, I live on my own right now, so I got to, like, be careful with my finances, you know? So I don't even have enough Fuck. to go train right now. Bro, I hear you. Even me too. Like, I live with my older brother. Like, I don't live with my parents. So it's like, dude, like, yeah. I still got to pay rent. So I'm trying to figure out paying rent and like training. Like, it's hard out here, especially in California. It's like everything is so expensive. Well, like, yeah, yeah. dude, I totally get you, bro. It's it's rough out here. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I'm in OC, so um, not too, not too far from you, I guess. I mean, it's like a five six hour drive. Orange County. Oh yeah. Oh, oh Orange like County. LA. Okay. Oh fuck. LA oh, area. Oh, LA area. Oh, that's sick. LA, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably yeah. pricey out there. Probably more pricey. Probably probably more expensive there, bro. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, like for a one bedroom, it's like over a couple grand. That's wild. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, kind of similar to here. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I don't even know how we do it, bro. I don't even know how I know. we did it. Like <laughs> if it wasn't for my brother, I I wouldn't even know what I'd be doing. But yeah, luckily he makes a little more than me, so he kind of okay. like pays a little more of the rent, and I I, yeah. I, pay, I pay my part. But yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for Andrew, I wouldn't. I don't even know where I'd be living. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, you need roommates because it's hard to be by yourself. So if you have roommates to split the bills, that that kind of helps you out. Yeah, yeah. But then you yeah. gotta live with like random people, and you gotta right. deal with like their bullshit. You gotta deal with them with their bullshit, and like what they do if they're loud and shit. It's like, fuck. There's yeah, a way so at least you got your brother. Yeah, I know exactly. At least I got him. So yeah. 